Hi friends, today in this reading we will see what 2024 is bringing for you according to your zodiac. Hi Gemini, let us see what 2024 is bringing for you. The hanged man. Okay, that's a time to take it easy, a time to relax, uh, think about things. The high priestess, that's a lot of thinking. And your last card is the hierophant. Okay, okay, so that's a lot of thinking here. That's a lot of time spent alone introspecting it's not exactly a time for too much commotion it's a silent year for you 2024 for you gemini it's a time where you will probably feel that things are not moving if that is what you want if you want a lot of action in your life it is not coming up in 2024. But what is coming for sure is a time to be with yourself, time to spend with yourself, get answers that you're looking for, be introspective. Also, for people who are, who are on the spiritual path, this is a very good year. With the High Priestess and the Hanged Man together. And then the Hierophant, it's almost as though this is the year where you can expect a complete spiritual transformation. This is an excellent year to find answers within, to find a Guru, to find mentors, to be guided by people, to find all that you're looking for and all the pleasures inside you, within yourself. Uh, this is also a time where you will stay comfortable uh, with your emotions. You will stay calm and peaceful. This is a very placid and a very, uh, you know, soothing year for you so if there have been upheavals then you will be like wow what a relief you have probably been wanting a break probably been wanting to you know there has if there has been a lot of commotion in your life which is a possibility then you have been wanting to move away from there Maybe you go to a retreat or you're looking for people to help you sort yourself out. And you will find such people who will help you to calm yourself, soothe yourself. This is a fantastic time for healing. This is a fantastic time. 2024, you know, is not a time of unplanned things. This is a time where things will go as per routine. And that routine, following a routine will give you a sense of peace, calm. And as you ascend towards higher things, as you evolve, through the year, you will feel happy and fulfilled. So, Gemini, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you have had a year where you were probably feeling lost, probably feeling unhappy, because this year will bring you happiness but not through worldly things. It's not, it, the cards are not denying worldly things, 
But then we are definitely saying that the happiness that you will get is through uh, the higher things, seeking higher things in life. You will probably be able to find those truths and secrets that you had been looking for. A time of not extreme emotions at all, a time where anybody who had been depressed until now, with these card I wouldn't these with these kinds of cards I wouldn't be surprised if quite a few of you had been depressed or unhappy of late. And if that was the case, then 2024, you will come out of it slowly and steadily and surely. Any kind of depression, any kind of unhappiness that you had been experiencing, now is the time when you will completely come out of it. Your Astro Oracle card. Gemini, let us take that out. I think this card wants to say something. Opposition, confrontation. Okay. Now this is interesting because in the face of opposition, you will, I'm, I'm seeing two things here for you, Gemini. One is that even in the face of opposition, contradictions, or any uncomfortable situations, you will still be able to stay calm. Another thing with the Hierophant card here, which I would like to touch upon is that is 2024 is an excellent year for marriage for you. All those who are single, you can get married. Now, the uh, two things that we see here are, one, even in the face of a lot of opposition, you will be able to stay calm and maintain your composure. The second thing that I see here is that probably through opposition, through someone who is very different from you, or maybe who is on the other side that you on the other team, for example. For example, let's say there are two teams working in competition at work. Through someone who is actually competing against you, you will be able to transform. You will be able to find peace. Let us pick up a card to see what the universe wants to. So two cards I want to draw out. One, the first one I'm drawing out is what the universe wants you to focus on in 2024. So two cards for what the universe wants to tell you or guide you. So universe, what should Gemini focus on in 2024? One enchanting, one enchanted evening, the perfect night. What does a beautiful evening or night mean for you? What is it that you would describe as the perfect evening? And I actually wouldn't be surprised if you say that for you a perfect evening would be with someone who challenges you but at the same time in the midst of beautiful, calm surroundings or some with someone who challenges you but you can discuss higher things, deeper things with them and 
the universe wants you to focus on that aspect and try and have more of these evenings and last card that i want to draw for you gemini is universe's guidance for you so universe what guidance would you like to give my gemini friends here control okay now we will also have the energy of the hierophant card here and then we have the control card here and then the hangman and the high priestess these two are talking a different story these two are talking a different story so i am no wonder the opposition card has come up you know what i'm seeing here gemini is that a lot of you may be torn between the two extremes and not finding the middle balance the central balance point balancing point or the middle point and 2024 will find help you to find that middle point now when we talking about those extremes then what are those extremes i see i sense here with these cards that a lot of you are probably torn between the first extreme that is extreme sense of control and the other extreme which is about completely letting go and 2024 is about finding that happy balance where you carry on with a good discipline a good daily routine a good sense of structure a reasonable sense of self control and a reasonable sense of having control over your surroundings or over the people around you what i'm seeing here is a tendency to go to extremes either being extremely controlling or being extremely liberal in fact either being extremely in control or being completely out of control in a state of complete surrender so i'm seeing that 2024 will bring for you that sense of balance which you need to achieve and the universe's guidance is basically to find that balance which is healthy for you how much control is healthy for you how much opposition is healthy for you how much surrender is healthy for you and can you walk that middle path because 2024 will teach you to walk that middle path my dear gemini friends right so have a lovely 2024 take very good care of yourself bye bye